Hello. Hello, sorry. Uh, I did... I'm... So, I'm doing... I'm... Words are happening as I am processing out loud. I'm trying to figure out if I can fix the, um... So... Okay. Hold on. Let me... I need to... I need to... I need to... I need to... A cop... I need to... Wow. My brain had decided to shut down. Okay. So I start the stream, right? And of course, after I start the stream, my brain goes... Hey, what if your what if your audio gets staticky again? You should um you should try to actually see if you can figure out how to fix that problem. And I went, oh yeah, you're right. Okay, so while I'm waiting for like people to come in, and whatnot, uh, I'm going to go look it up, right? And so I started looking it up, and I found a forms. I found the OB OBS forms, um, where apparently this is a problem that a lot of people have had with OBS. Um, so I, I found a lot of people agreed that like, yeah, this shit happens to me too. And not that much in the forms of how to fix it. Um, but I realized what, so, um, and I wanted to check to see what, what, um, what type of source I actually use to put in the game audio because there's technically two sources. There's the application audio capture and then I don't know if audio output source does anything. <laughs> um, to be completely frank, I don't know if it does anything. Um, and I couldn't remember which one was which. So I switched over to figure out uh, which one it was. I'm using the application audio capture to capture the game audio and i think if i switch around to other um applications i think i it's i think it's the same thing yeah i use i use the um i basically use the that source for anything that i'm trying to record from the uh from the computer. You don't hear anything right now because no none of the the game is currently paused because I'm not in it. So you're so that's not that's not a problem in and of itself. But yeah, so I don't I don't know if I made I don't know what audio output capture is. Okay. Okay, no. Okay, yeah. No, that's not helpful. That- my options are, like, headphones and speakers. That is- that is not what I'm looking for. So let's- let's go ahead and get rid of that. Okay. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! That was the wrong button. I did me. I I accidentally got rid of the entire scene. I didn't need to get rid of the scene. I just needed to get rid of the source. It's okay. We fixed it. Oh hey, actually, I got a. Uh, hold on, hold on. I got a. I got a comment on one of my fan fictions. I want to read it real quick. Nice. Okay. Um. Okay, we fixed it. Everything's fine. I forgot my. My Apple Watch is dying on me. That's that's fun. Okay. Um Yeah, so like I'm on the form right now trying to see I was trying to see if like if there was something I could do to fix the problem before starting the stream and there's just a lot of yeah, this is happening to me and not a lot of how do we fix it. So one of the thing is that the um the application audio capture is in beta it's in it says beta in all caps in per, in parentheses so it's going to be a little buggy but it's really inconvenient when it's buggy you know um so i'm trying to see if there's some type of workaround um and it might just i might have to just keep looking for for it in the in uh, at a later date, um, because, 
the fix might just have to be me like getting some third party vi uh, audio recording device and doing some finagling with that, uh, which I do not have time to do today. Um, when I've already started my stream. Uh. Yeah, someone offered the idea of using a, like, um, a voice meter audio thing. I don't know what that is, but he offered that. Um. Yeah, it might be a, it that might just have to be something I have to keep looking into later. Which sucks. I'm gonna have to just every once in a while just check to make sure that um all the audio things are working correctly, you know. Um Can you load so you showing? Okay. Uh, in the meantime, before we actually get into, before we get into the actual game, though, um, I wanted to talk about my vacation. I took a vacation with Lauren. Uh, we went places and we did things. Uh, and it's, so I had a fun time. It was really expensive. I spent $300 on that trip. Uh, I... Me and budgeting money just doesn't go together. Um, but I'm trying to. I'm looking through my pictures to see if, I, if there's anything I can I remember to talk about. We went to a circus. That was fun, but it wasn't your typical circus. This was a very much a more adult circus. Um, I think it was supposed to be scary, but it it really wasn't scary. It was definitely very goth. Like, the setting was pretty, was, like, pretty goth. Um, but then you had all of the girls in, like, zero clothing being very sexy. And it reminded me that I'm very gay. Um, and it was still a fun time. I don't have many pictures because at the beginning of the, of the, of the show, they told us... Uh, do not use your phones or else we will curse you. And I went, okay. And so I, I respected the show and didn't use my phone during it. So I have very little pictures of the actual event. Um, some of it was really cool. There was this, there was this like type rope, but it like made of metal and a person was on a motorcycle. And of course, like the motorcycle is like attached to the, to like the rod. So it can't fall off and. So there was there wasn't much of a balancing act, but at one point they were uh, the guy did just like do a three sixty around the pole, like just was like spinning around the pole, and there was a and there was a girl also sitting underneath the motorcycle that also got to get flung around. It was really cool. Um, there uh, th there was a there was some really cool acts. It was it was really cool. I I enjoyed it. It was a little loud. Um, as most things would be. Um, but it, it was, it was pretty good. I think I need to invest in some noise canceling headphones or something uh, eventually whenever, whenever I get the chance. Uh, then we went up to the mountains. That was fun. We went to, um, we went to a cavern and it was, it was crazy. I also didn't take too many pictures of the cavern. But that was just, that wasn't because we weren't allowed to. That was just because it was, one, really cold. I, I was warned that the, that you, it gets colder in the mountains. I was warned. And I didn't follow that warning whatsoever. Um, and so I was very cold. And also, because it had, like, recently rained, the caverns were also really wet from all the rainwater washing, going down the ground. Um, into the cavern. Um, so I'm just kind of sitting there very huddled up. And I didn't take out my phone because I was told multiple times. 
uh, that in some areas, if you drop your phone, it is gone forever. Like, there's this, um, dead man zone of stilled water. Like, water that does not move. And we were told, like, make sure you keep a good hand on, like, any of your, uh, loose items. Because if it falls in that pool, you're never getting it back. <laughs> like, it's just gone. You're never getting it back. And so, uh, I didn't take any pictures. Uh... Abby took a lot of pictures, and even looking at the pictures, and, like, even though I was there physically, like, knowing that, and then also looking at the pictures, I'm just like, this isn't a real place. <laughs> like, like, you look at the pictures, and you're just like, this isn't real. <laughs> this is, this is, like, the set of a movie. Like, an Aliens movie is what the picture, if you look at the pictures, that's what it feels like. It feels like you're just looking at the set of an Alien movie, and not a underground cavern that's been there for thousands of years um so that was that was pretty wild uh we went to a bookstore that was fun i bought books that we'll see if i actually read i buy i have a problem with, with books my my relationship with books is that i will buy them when i think a book is interesting and then it'll sit on my shelf and i'll never read it it happens to me at GalaxyCon, it happens to me to any bookstore, though I will say I did buy, we went to a different bookstore later at the end of the trip, and I did buy a book there as well. Um, it was a comic for Danny Phantom, because I love Danny Phantom and I heard about this comic book. That was basically, it's a, like, official Nickelodeon product, but the story was made by a Danny Phantom fan. Um, and the story is really good, and it, and it sets up for the potential of like having its own little comic series i don't know if nickelodeon's gonna take that route and make it a whole series or if it's just that book i think a lot of danny phantom friends would really like to see a continuation of the story um especially since this book retcons the uh, ending of danny phantom no one really liked the ending of danny phantom it was very rushed and didn't make a lot of sense in some areas and so this this uh this book uh basically ends up retconning that um ending and so it puts back puts that conflict back that like no one knows that Danny is Danny Phantom anymore and so everyone hates him um and it's 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 a good story I won't spoil it too much um <laughs> but I I I really hope that they continue with that we went to a we went to a zoo I will admit I'm not the biggest zoo fan. Like, I'll go to a zoo and I'll, like, quickly look at animals and then just walk away. Like, uh, it does not take me that long to, like, if I, I feel like if I was by myself, I could go through an entire zoo in maybe an hour. I just kind of look for an animal and just leave. <laughs> um, but I had a lot of fun at the zoo, <laughs> at the zoo. And I think it was just because I was with my friends. Um, Abby kind of, like, befriended one of the bobcats. Uh, it was... I, I have a video of, like, Abby playing with the Bobcat. Like, she would run up and down, and the Bobcat would chase after her. It was it was fun. It was cute. Uh, <laughs> there was um there was a little rope, like, a little kid, like, rope. I, w I wouldn't call it a course, because it, it was just its own little thing. Uh, but we caught, but uh, me, Abby, and Lauren kind of, like, climbed up on it. Um, that was fun. It was fun to kind of, like, feel like a kid. Um... <laughs> I did accidentally injured myself, though. There was a slide, right? It was like a completely metal slide, and I was wearing full clothes, right? Long pants and hoodie because it was cold. Um, and I slid down the slide. Um, and I went really fast because, again, there was no resistance. Uh, because I was wearing- I was fully clothed. So I just slid right down, and my- and I couldn't get my feet- there at the end of the slide and so my foot also slid and so I just fell off the slide and smacked my head the back of my head on the um uh, on the back of the slide um and none other did I s <laughs> I I did a lot of things when I ended that s that slide uh I smacked my head uh well I I smacked my tailbone on the ground, right? I smacked my tailbone on the ground. And then 
uh, the end, the end of the slide, the edge of the slide, uh, got jammed into my neck, just like just below my neck. Um, and then the back of my head smacked onto the slide. So I injured myself in three different places <laughs> in the span of five seconds. <laughs> uh, luckily, I was fine. Everything was fine. I was in a lot of pain, but I was fine. <laughs> um, what, when, uh, I did a little, I did a little few checks to see if, um, I did a few little checks to see if I was, like, if I had a concussion. Uh, I don't think I had a concussion. Uh, I mean, my head hurt a little bit. I thought my eyes were a little dilated, but when I asked, when I asked Abby to check my pupils, uh, she said they looked fine. So, I might have been overreacting. I got a little nauseous, but on that day specifically, I hadn't eaten anything, and we were getting to, like, and we woke up in the morning, like, early morning, and, um, and it was now, like, afternoon, so I was a little nauseous, but I think I was probably nauseous just because I was really hungry, um, though nausea is a, um, symptom of having a concussion, so I was a little, but once I, once I, once we finally had, like, lunch and I got some food in my stomach, that, the nausea calmed down, so I think I was just hungry, um, what what's ended up hurting the most and for the longest was just my shoulder and my neck. I have been I've been having a few problems with that with this like specific area in the back of my like neck and sh and right shoulder that's been hurting and being sore for a few days. Um, so smacking it against uh the edge of a the edge of a of a slide was not my best move because oh boy did that hurt like a bitch. <laughs> Uh, I ended up having to take ibuprofen to try to lower the swelling. Um, but luckily, I obviously didn't hurt myself enough to actually bruise. Because I, I checked my body for bruises. Um, I don't have any bruises from that event. So I didn't hurt myself that much. Um, but yeah, I did I did end up accidentally injuring myself at the zoo. <laughs> uh, after that, we... After the zoo, like, uh, we went and got lunch. Um... At like a sushi burger place. I don't eat burgers because they upset my stomach. And when I was already feeling nauseous, I just didn't want to risk it. So I didn't I didn't have burgers. But I did have have some sushi. According to Lauren, Amelia, and Abby, the burgers were great. They really liked their burgers. Um I had some of the sushi. I had a California roll. Uh I wanted to be a little bit more adventurous with um uh, with my food choices. And I and I know I like, I know I don't hate sushi. Like, I've had sushi before. My sisters took me out to one of their favorite sushi restaurants. So I knew I liked sushi, so I wanted to try some of it. But at that point, um, I was a little paranoid about the idea of how badly I had hurt myself because I smacked my head. Um, and I was feeling a little nauseous, so I got a little less uh, courageous in my food choices. So I grabbed a California roll because I knew I liked California rolls. Um, and I don't know what's... Abby and Amelia got, but they they basically shared a plate, um, and I and I took a little bit of their I took like a piece of their um, uh, sushi as well. I don't remember what they had, but I liked that one as well. So there there was that. So I had a good I had a good lunch. We we all had a good lunch, um, which was good because not every place that we tried ended up being good. Like we went to this one place, one pizza place, and. Me and Lauren ended up getting spaghetti for it. And for some reason, the sauce, like the spaghetti sauce that they use for the pizza and the uh, spaghetti was a little spicy. And I wasn't prepared to have spicy spaghetti. <laughs> like, it wasn't terrible. I just wasn't prepared for it. So it came out of left field and I was like, oh, this, this is spicy. <laughs> Why is this spicy? <laughs> um... So, so not all the places we hit was, uh, was gold stars. Um. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we did. Oh, we also went to a chocolate place right after. After we ate, we went to a chocolate place. Um. And so we just went to another place to have dessert. And it was, it was decent. Uh, I was very much not that hungry. So I had, like, a little tiny scoop of vanilla ice cream. Uh, me and Abby split an ice cream and things. 
and then after that it was time to time to head back uh back home so we we head back to lauren's house and the next day we basically uh lauren had work uh during the afternoon so we we basically just chilled at lauren's house uh oh we made amelia watch all of has hotel that was fun I thought she would like it more than she uh ended up liking it. Like she she said that she liked it, but I don't uh but she, I don't think she was as crazy about it as like me and Lauren was. So, you know, hit and a miss, but <laughs> it is what it is. And then eventually and then eventually we it was time to go back. It was it was time to go back home to my house. Uh they dropped me off at the train station. I almost missed the train again. I I didn't mean to. I thought I was doing really well. So like we got there early, right? And we're sitting on top of the top of the platform. Um and the train had and I was talking and I was talking to them and we were looking out for the train. The train started to come, so we started to say our goodbyes and I get hugged. Um and I'm coming down the stairs. And, like, the train has stopped. Apparently, they were about to leave without me because the conductor didn't see me. Um, because I wasn't completely down there. And I couldn't be completely down there because only travelers can go down there. And since the other three were just singing me off, they weren't allowed down there. So that's why I stayed up. Um, until the train came. And I didn't, I didn't think it was gonna, I didn't. I didn't think it was going to be there for only literally a minute and then run off without me. Um, but luckily, one of the train workers was also down there. And she knew that I was trying to get that train. So she told the conductor to hold up. Um, I was coming and I came down the stairs and I got on the train. He did then proceed to scold me on the train. Uh, telling me how he was about to leave me. Um, and that it, was o that it was only a quick stop. Um, and so... And, like, I, I took it, like, I, I was like, oh, and I kind of just took it. I was just like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't realize it was going to be that that quick. I was just at the top of the stairs. I didn't think it was going to, I didn't think it was going to take me so long to get to the top of the stairs. Um, I think, uh, I think the girls definitely did slow me down because I was trying to leave and then Amelia wanted a hug and then Abby wanted a hug and I couldn't figure out if Lauren wanted a hug or not. So I did get slowed down by a couple of seconds. Not that I blamed them. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I almost missed my train for the second time. And I'm just like, oh my goodness gracious. Cause that would have sucked if I missed my train. Um, I don't know what I would have done if I had like missed my train like that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what I would do in that situation. Cause I wouldn't want to have to buy another train ticket because that, that shit's not cheap. It's fifteen dollars, um, and I can't ask. And the the whole reason why I went, I took the train in the first place was because I it's not fair to like ask someone to drive me all the way home and then have to go back home themselves. Like it's it's such a long drive, um, that that's one of the reasons why I took the train in the first place. So luckily that was, that's a situation that I don't have to think about too much because that didn't end up happening. I, but I now have to be mindful that when I go to that train station, I really should just wait at the, at the, um, bottom of the train station and wait for the train to show up. <laughs> Cause one of these days I'm going to miss that train. Uh, but yeah, so, so that was my trip. I overall had a lot of fun. It was really nice to catch up with the girls. Um, I I wish I didn't spend as much money as I did, especially because of my job situation. Which I know the cards are telling me to be patient. Like I I talked about how I asked I asked the tarot cards, um, what I should do, and they're telling me to be patient. But it's been over four weeks now. We're in we're in the fourth week of background checks, and I tried calling them yesterday. I called them like three times yesterday, and I texted them, and I'm getting nothing back. And I'm just getting really, really irritated because 
it just it feels really disrespectful to just not keep up communication with me and i don't know what else to do it's i had two phone i had two phone numbers i had the phone number from the website which nev has never worked it's always going to voicemail and then i have the phone number from the um that I got all the text messages from, which I know belongs to a real person because the text messages are too personalized for it to not be a real person's number. But every time I try to call that number, the line's always busy. And so I just have to send a text message and hope for them to get me get back to me. Which I think is just really stupid. Like, I'm about to be your employee. And I don't feel like I'm being respected. My time is not being respected. I was told two to three weeks. It's been four. It's about to be five. It's about to be five weeks. If it was going to take five weeks for a background check, then you should have told me five weeks. But since you told me two to three weeks and have yet to give me a new estimated time, the only thing I have heard back from these people is... It's still pending. I'm like, no shit, it's still pending. <laughs> I know it's still pending. What do you want me to do about it? <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Like, it is... I am, I am losing my patience with these people. So today at work... Also, I, I worked Roblox for the very first time. Very weird. That was a weird experience. Um, but during my time... During work today, I threw... I sent out... Um... Technically four, but really only three other resumes, uh, job applications. I sent three out more because I, I'm losing my patience here. It's not fair to me to be like treated like this. Um, if they think this is how they should treat me, then I don't want to work there, right? A am I crazy for feeling to for thinking that? Like, I've never had a business job before. I don't know what to, what is proper etiquette. Apparently, the proper etiquette is that if you don't get the job, they never call you back. Like, as the polite way of telling you that they're not... They're going for someone else. Which is, I still think, a stupid-ass decision. Because you're not telling me no. You're just telling me nothing. Nothing doesn't mean no. Just, like... It's it's just infuriating. Like, if, if the answer's no, they just say no to my face. <laughs> Like, don't... But apparently that's the new standard. It's just that if you don't get the job, you just never hear back. Which is actually really funny. Um, I had... Last year, I put in a job application for Ross. And I never heard back from them. So I eventually was just like, alright, fine. I didn't get the job. Um, <laughs> literally this week, <laughs> a year after I put in the job application... I finally got an email from Ross saying that, hey, we saw your application. We want to let you know that we're looking at different people. I'm like, yeah, I think I gathered that after you ghosted me for a year. <laughs> like, like, on the one hand, it's like, bravo, you told me no. On the other hand, you're fucking, you're late. <laughs> I I think it would have been more funny if they told me, hey, we would like to give you a job out, uh, a job interview, like, a year later. Like, I wouldn't have a job uh, at, at that point. Like, oh my god. So, yeah, I've sent out three more job applications. Um, so, it's three to four. Uh, the four is in quotation marks because it's just the same job for the same company in a different location that happens to be closer to my house. Like, they have two forms. One of them is farther away than the other, and I and I just ended up sending job applications to both places. So it's technically four, but it's but it's for, like, the same job and same company, so it's really just the same. It's really only three. Um, but, but yeah, so... The hunt is still on for me to get a fucking stable job. You gotta love modern, modern America where you have to pull your hair out to get a job. Uh, 
I wonder if I should probably try to step away from the idea of doing sales. One of, one of the things I really liked about the sales positions was just how much money I was going to be able to make very, very quickly. Um, but I think, I've, I think one of the reasons why salespeople get a lot of money is probably because of the heavy lifting um, and socializing that they have to do. Uh, no one's going to do it for like $10. So, um, and some of the job applications for, um, for the sales is actual door-to-door -door sales, which I will not do because I don't think that's safe. And my parents don't think that's safe. And they will not allow me to take a job that they don't feel me comfortable in. Um... Hold on, it, it's really hot. Wait, you don't have to hold on. I'm just taking my headphones off. It's not like I'm listening to anything anyway. So, um, so I think maybe I should try to step away from the sales or like branch out farther than just sales. I thought sales might be fun. Um, I thought I'd be really good at it. But I also want to be safe, you know? And the sales jobs don't always, don't really give you benefits. Like... A lot of the sales positions don't give me, um, actually, yeah, I, I don't need to have my headphones on. What am I doing? I'm going to turn these off. I'm not listening to anything. Um, a lot of the sales positions barely give you any benefits. Um, like some, like the, the most I've seen, um, is that they'll offer health benefits. Um, but health benefits... I'm not really sure which category that is, but I know it's not dental and it's not vision because those are different insurances. Um, but yeah, I think I think another reason why I liked the idea of sales was because they would train me. Because one of the one of the other things is that I don't have a lot of skills. A lot of my skills are for creative um, outputs, if that. Um, so having a job that's like, we'll train you how to do shit. And it's like, okay, that's fine. I'm a person who can learn things. Um, but, and I thought like learning sales or marketing might be good for like just having useful skills to know for other things like marketing my own, my own shit later. But I don't know. Um, I bought another tarot card deck. Uh, I found one for good omens. I don't know how I feel about it, but I did end up pulling that um, those cards as well. I I did a little fortune telling for myself, and I pulled those cards. And I actually wrote I wrote down what they were, so I can I can tell I can share what that reading was. It was um it was a basic reading in the back of the um book that was for trying to figure out your place in um in the world in the in the universe and what the what the book calls the ineffable plan because it's good omens themed um and so the first question that was asked was what is my current position in the great ineffable plan which i got the reverse five of angels and that basically boiled down to i have an internal conflict um the second question was what was holding me back and i got the knights of demons um which was don't get caught up in the chaos around you follow through with your plan with single mind focus the third question was what will propel me forward and i got the reverse six the duo um you need to cut someone out of your life that is holding you back and then the fourth question was what will buy next what will the next life chapter look like? And I got the reverse five, um, and I'm going to mispronounce this, the hero Uh H-I-E-R-O-P-H-A-N-T, um, which meant break free from wicked restrictions and follow your own path, listen to your own advice. And then the last question was, what advice do you have for me as I transition into the future? And I got the king of demons, be focused, fierce, decisive leader, use logic when making decisions. Um, and when you do tarot card reading, sometimes it's also nice to keep note of what type, what suit of cards you're getting the most. And I pulled a lot of demons. So the demon cards represent ambition, conflicts, and relationship with power, corresponding with the element air. 
kings, queens, knights, and pages symbolizes personality types, behavior patterns, and sometimes actual people in our lives. Um, so it was very interesting to, to try to like bring that all together. I currently have an internal conflict. Um, I am surrounded by chaos, which is just drowning me. There's apparently someone I need to cut out of my life that is holding me back. Um, the next chapter, to be, to be able to move forward, I need to break free from restrictions and follow my own path. Um, and the advice to get to that future is to be focused, fierce, and a, and a divisive leader using logic to make decisions. Which, if you remember of what I got from my other card reading a few um, a few days back on Friday, um, when I asked about if the job was worth it, I was told I was told to be patient and keep my emotions in check. So both decks and decks have different personalities have are basically telling me that I'm being too emotional. Um, Chanel. so I, I don't know what to do with all that information and some people who are skeptic will probably just be like, it means God means nothing, but I like to think that it means something. Um, I just haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to make all of that work, you know? But I think that's enough essential, um, ex, ex, uh, um, I think that's enough talking about my interpersonal conflicts that I probably should not be sharing on the internet because, I don't know, it's none of you guys' business. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, my biggest strength and weakness is I'm extremely open and honest. And I can't lie worth a shit. <laughs> so... You get to suffer with all I that. forgot to drink water! And I'm being told to drink. Okay, I got it. I did remember to refill my water bottle before starting. Okay. In the meantime, I've already done my... I have done my, uh... My duty. Today, I sent out job applications. We'll see if they ever get back to me. In the meantime, I want to play some goddamn video games. So, let's load the first run. Uh, I believe uh, we had just completed our first quest and we're going back to report the findings, I think is what's happening. Okay. Uh... Okay, everyone everyone's healed up, so I don't I don't have to worry about that. Okay. Uh can I fast travel? Yeah, I think I need to talk to this guy. Oh wait, no. Uh Let's go, let's go ahead and talk to you first. Hello, Annie. You're back. How did it go? Well, Captain Henrik is dead. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, who's in charge then? You might have to wait before going to KLM, I'm afraid. I see. Well, not your fault. Thanks for the heads up. You're welcome. Alright. The relationship with the Scavengers faction has 
change from 11 to 19. Can I talk to you again? Clear skies, my friend. See you later. Do you sell any potion? Okay, so you, okay. Well, you. thank you. I guess that's it for us. Stay in the light, my friends. Okay. Uh, oh, I, I still can't open it because I failed the lock picking. Okay, so this is a. Uh, I do want to take this out because I want to sell it because I don't need it. Uh, I can't use the great sword. I don't think. I don't think I have. I. I think I'm gonna sell the great sword because I don't have anyone who's will be really good at using it. Um, the only one who really has any strength. Is um Gilda, but Gilda can't use a isn't proficient in a great sword, so um so I'm gonna sell that as well. Alright, refill those arrows. Uh I think you're the only one who uses arrows. I need to buy more bolts. That I definitely need to do. I need to get more bolts. So let's go. Uh, your magic and curiosities. Okay, you're you're the general. So let's go over to you. I would like to sell these things. All right. Uh. Am I out of rations? Does this man not have any rations left? I, he does not. I need to get you more rations. Uh, how many should I get you? Probably should get you five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. You can get five more rations. There we go. Gotta gotta make sure uh, my guys stay healthy and eating food. You have three, so you need two more. You have four. You're doing great. A scroll of shatter. Oh, can I can I learn these now? Cause I'm second level. I can probably learn those now. Um, how many do you have? You also have three. Okay. Oh, uh, and I can sell your armor. Okay, so let's go back up to you. You need two more. Conclude. You just need one. Conclude. And you need two. There we go. Alright. Cool beans. Um, I guess the only thing I think of is armor. You have leather armor already. Stutter armor would be nice. Uh, I don't think I would need to go any higher than that. Yeah, hide. I don't. I I don't think I would want to go with hide because his dex is way. He, he get more out of this one. And then that's chain. And that's scale. I can't afford those. That's chain mail. Okay. Um. Oh, I also... Uh, I don't know if I have enough money for that. Okay. Healing potions? Oh, yeah. Uh, I would love to buy healing potions. I cannot afford healing potions. The ration pouches, torches, candles, backpacks. 
small smithing tool set. Uh, is it in here? Okay, you don't need arrows though. You're you're fine. Let's switch over to you then. Oh, common clothes. Let's sell that. I don't need that. You have a scroll revivify. Uh, definitely need that. I would like to get fifteen more bolts. Uh, we'll do this. So there, there we go. And then that, yeah, that that should be enough for them. Um, long sword. Short sword, tether, club. I think I'm fine with the battle axe. What can I do for armor for you? Probably not a lot. Okay. You... I don't think you really need- I don't think you need anything. And you have... You have short swords. But you also have daggers. I might leave you the daggers in case I want to give you something to throw. In a last ditch effort. Okay, yeah. I think I'm good there. I'm gonna go over here real quick. See if there's anything I want to get out of this. Magic devices. I can give him a amulet, a focus amulet. And then that would fill up this pouch. So that wouldn't be his, um, focus. Is that, like, for the head? Like, what is that? Okay, yeah, that goes on your head. Uh... I don't know what the difference is. Is there a belt? Oh, there is a belt section. Okay, so I could get a compound... A component pouch that's a belt. Component bracers? Okay. So those are bracers. That's a druid focus... Wand of magical detection. Uh, wand spell focus, but I think I would have to hold that in my hand. That's a holy symbol. Holy symbol belt buckle. A holy symbol cape, alright. Holy symbol crown. Um, the wand is the cheapest. I mean, he has other hands, so you know. I 
I don't think it would be too too much of a hassle to just have a wand in his other hand. I'm a little sad that there's no like idea of like using the staff as a as a focus. Because the problem with this is that that's also where you could put quick, you could put quick like potions. I can only sell it for two. Okay. Uh, trying to think. I wonder if I should put it on the head. It's just I want to have a I want to have a lot a focus that I don't have to worry about the idea of it like blocking another slot. So I think I think I might just go with the wand. It's the cheapest one, and I can just stick it in my hand, and it should should not be a problem. So we're gonna go with a wand. I think I still need to have the component pouch. I think if I got rid of the component pouch, uh, they might not let me be able to do spells. So I'm not gonna try to get rid of it. Um... Uh, oh yeah, I can get crafting manuals for poison bolts and poison arrows. I would like to be able to get this at one point. For, for Logan, because I think Logan... Yeah, Logan can use that. And then these are just ingredients. Though I'm not sure why I can't buy some of them. But, okay. So... Over here... I want to take this... And give that to Sable. I want to go to here. I want... I want to scribe this. Okay. And I want to take this. Oh no, that one's still too high. Okay. Uh, where's the wand? We'll put the wand there. Okay. Uh, as Logan, can I cast a spell? Okay. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. Oh, I can't... Okay, hold on. I can't just dual wield it like that. Oh, okay. 
Okay, so I don't need to have the component pouch um, equipped, it looks like. I don't need to have it, like, equipped on my body. Well, actually... Let me go over here real quick. We're, we're doing- we're, we're testing some things. If I put the component pouch into here... Okay. So I don't even need it on my pers person at all. That or I'm using spells that doesn't require components. No, this one does. And so does this one. And that one. Okay, so yeah. But okay. So yeah, I don't- Apparently this is just if I wanted to use it as a spell focus. So, I think I did everything I want to do. We could probably move forward. Uh, where do I... Who has things for us? This guy. So, let's go over here. Here you are. How was the mission? Not paid enough. Who is? When can we hope for an audience? It depends. Tomorrow, if you're lucky. Another party came back yesterday, and they still have to make their report. So maybe they'll see you both at once. We have urgent news. The outpost at Kaalem has been attacked. Almost all of the garrison was killed. By all the gods! Meet me in the council chamber. I'll inform my superiors. It's just like, oh, uh, we have more important things. The Legacy things. Council is now in session. Captain Merrin has the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, your royal highness, my party and I have made a very worrying discovery in the Badlands, near the place we call Black Hill. We saw a group that we took to be scavengers. They attacked us right away, but we were able to fight them off. They were trying to get away with this. What is it? This box contains a gem, a ruby, it appears. We have determined that it has magical properties, and we believe the Council should examine it. So we will tell them. But really, is that all? You called an emergency meeting of the Council for a simple magical gem? Her Royal Highness has a busy schedule. Please, Lord Denintel. In this chamber, I am just a student of magic. Here, here. Anyway, Captain. <laughs> the council anyway. Has a great deal of business. They were Sorax, our attackers. Not scavengers, not bandits. Sorax. Hmm. Sorax? Is this a joke? The Sor attack are no laughing matter, Lord Tasek. Oh, you know what I mean. What do you mean, my lord? How many times has the council heard tales of these so-called Sorax? At least 20, I'd say. More. 23. Yes, more each year. It's becoming a fad. Our church has been warning of the Sor Akath since humans first came to Selasta, in the wake of their foul god, Sortar. I'm sorry, Captain, but you are certain that you encountered Sorax? 
It's true. They're real. What? And who might you be? The new recruits, my lord. They were sworn in quite recently. New recruits, eh? They place too much stock in rumor, it seems. They assure me that they saw Sorax as well. Wait, do you realize how serious this is? They attacked the Care Lem outpost. The garrison suffered severe losses. Care Lem? The outpost in the marches? What do you mean by heavy losses? The Sorax took over Captain Hemrick, and only two of them are still alive. They can testify, too. Do you have any material proof of their existence? I beg your pardon? Like what? Well, a dead body, for example? A reason just ahead? If we go to Care Lem, will we find the bodies of these Sorax? No. Probably not. They took their dead with them when they retreated. The bodies of their victims, too. Hmm, how very convenient. So you can offer us no proof of this adventurer's fable. And what if proof were to be brought before the council? What proof? How? If the Sorax take away their fallen, as they say, that's not our problem. Let them find a way. These are new recruits, correct? Then let this be their new mission. Bring us the head of a Sorak for the whole council to see. That would certainly be proof, Lord Fazek, would it not? Oh, very well. Meanwhile, the council will examine the gem. Uh, if there is nothing else... Dean ILF Fazek of the Tower of Knowledge calls for a recess. Does any member object? No? It is resolved, then. The Legacy Council is now in recess. Hmm. That actually went better than I expected. Here's the grubby dwarf. Uh, they are seat warmers. We had to stand by Meringue. The princess is bland. <laughs> uh, here's the grubby dwarf. Who's the grumpy dwarf woman? Chancellor Hertha Gorm's daughter of the Guild of Antiquarians. She's, well, yes, quite. Anyway. Some people <laughs> might want to talk to you after this. Working for the council, you are expected to be neutral. But? But you have the right to have friends. So, feel free to talk to whoever you like, as long as your allegiance remains to the council as a whole. All right, then. Hey, deputies. Thanks for the support in there. You're welcome, Captain. So those bastards got Henrik. So. You knew him? Yes, indeed. I wonder who'd volunteer to retake Kerlem now. The scavengers could lead the way. Yes, they'll find a bunch of hotheads to retake the fort, I'm sure. Stay in the light, friends. You too. Okay. Oh, wow, new a lot of new objectives. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess you're the closest one. Well, if it isn't our brave saviors. Good day, Lieutenant. I'm no longer Lieutenant. I resign my commission. I work for my people now. I will never set foot in the Badlands again. Yes. Well, you clearly weren't cut out for that posting. I've made my peace. But you aren't here to check on my welfare, are you? No, we seek information. Before the attack, where exactly did your scout venture? You mean, Daliat? Right, Daliat. Where did he go before the Sorax attacked? As far as I know, there's not a name for this place. Or road that leads there. But I can show you on the map. It's near the ruins of an ancient tower. Thank you, Daryl. We appreciate the help. What are you thanking me for? Sending you to your death? Okay. Uh...
guess we'll talk to Annabeth next. I love watching the little the little circle just run across the map. I, it's so funny. I don't know why it's funny to me. It just is. Hello, Annie. We wanted to talk about KLM. I'm all ears. No one's there anymore. Ah, you want to claim the place. How does it work again? We go there and scavenge everything you didn't take. And you get a percentage. We can't promise you it's safe. <laughs> it never is. Once we get there, we'll set up an outpost of our own. I'll check with the council first, but thanks anyway. What do we do next? Once we've done our work, I'll let you know. You'll just have to come by and collect your share. Six days remaining. Scavenger expedition. Scavengers are heading to these locations to collect and bring back loot left behind. Somewhere along the road, new, seven days remaining, and the cabin of Air Force. Scavenger system. When you have cleared a location of monsters, go to any scavenger outpost to report your deeds. They will send their people there to collect the minor loot left and sell it. Each time you visit scavenger EQ, you can claim the money they owe you. They take a portion of the value, total value of what was brought back. You also have a chance to buy back some of the collected stuff be beforehand. You don't have to talk to the scavenger quartermaster to use the system. You can click on, on any... On, you can click on the sign nearby. Okay. Anything else? Uh, I do not need a short rest. Uh, journal? Okay, so th this is my quest log. Travel to the ancient tower. You have learned how to scout from- Okay, so I need to travel to the ancient tower. Okay, so I fought these things. I don't know anything about them, but I fought them. Okay. So I think maybe the more I fight them, the more knowledge I gain. I still don't know anything about the Zorax.
I know a little bit more about this one, because I guess I fought them so many times. Uh, I know they have superior dark vision. Interesting. They have claws and spines. They have a lot of HP. Shouldn't I know more about skeletons because I have a ranger that is, that fights undead? Gain adventures and ability checks towards this creature type and additional damage against it equal to your knowledge level. Okay, so that's what knowledge level means. So I gain advantage on ability checks towards this creature type. And additional damage against it equal to the no Okay, so I can do like at maximum like an extra four damage. Okay. Okay, so first mission accomplished, travel to the ancient tower. So I guess we have to leave then. There we go. I forget how to leave. Okay. Here we go. So at normal sp speed, it'll take us... Ooh, I don't have enough rations. I mean, they all have five rations. But on the way back home, I would be really tired. I can do fast, but I might run into more trouble. You know what? Yeah, let's, let's do that. We'll do fast. And I count your Logan, here's an enemy approaching. A lone ogre. Hostile creatures are nearby, but Logan has managed to spot them. Uh, what would you do? Aware, aware, spotted, aware. Ooh, I don't know anything about the ogre. But I do want to play more with the mechanics, so I think we're going to ambush it. Okay. 
We're gonna bonus action. Natura. Devo Malmus. Hunter's Mark. Boom. Nice. Okay, we did that. Um. And then go hide over there. You. Healing word, spiritual weapon. Not too concerned about those two. Guidance, sacred flame, spirit of dying. A uh, bane. Guiding Bolt, Inflict Wounds, Bless, Cure Wounds, Blindness, Bless, okay. I, I will try Blindness. So, so what does this do again? Cannot see anything, disadvantage on the attack rolls. Okay, yeah. The target is out of range. What's the, what's the range on that again? Six. So, he's pretty far away. If I go over here, can I do it? Target is out of range. I need to get you over there as well to help. Let's use what uh shadow dodge. As a bonus action teleport to a cell you can see okay. Okay, uh we don't need that. Uh cutting action You have chilling touch Dazzle and a shadow blade. Oh, you don't have one. Oh, I'm going to have to you're going to have to borrow Logan's. I didn't realize I forgot about that. Okay. I do want you to get in close. So go in there. The ogre's unlit. Eh, might as well. Nice. Which is done turn. Okay, you annoying bees, dazzled, ray of frost. Ooh, this one might be fun. Arcana. 
Dang. Okay. Okay, so it was surprised, so I didn't get to do anything. So, go over here. Attack the ogre. More coming your way. And go back to hiding. You. Let's try Bane. Marite, Encho, Minure. Aha, you've been baned. And I would like you to get out of there. I would like you to just go ahead and attack. Nice. I think... Oh, the target's out of range. Go over here. We did it! How do I make the... Uh, how do I make it go away? How do I how do I get out of using moving the flame around? Ah! Oh, my bad. <laughs> okay, uh, there we go. It ended. I forgot to drink water. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll take the arrow. All right, let's go back to the long rest. Oh, uh, I'll I'll check chat in a moment. Sorry, I. So, what are they doing? Oh my goodness. It really took them that long. Okay. Um, I've been lurking. Uh, I has been lurking, just sleepy. Hope the game is going well. Uh, it is. We defeated an ogre. It was great. Uh, 
uh, before I forget again. If I want you to be able to use spells, we're gonna have to switch these out. Okay. Put those in there. Logan picked up an arrow that should go over there. I can go there now. All right. I have enough to actually make this? Crafting bonus plus two. Arc this has got a kind of flat, so you would probably be the best one to do it. Uh, sure. You can- you can make arrows. Is it just the one arrow, though? Yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, you know what? I think I'll wait on doing that until I hit another, like, safe breaking point. But, okay. What the hell did we just stumble into? These aren't Sorax. They seem human. What exactly are they doing? What's it look like they're doing? They're digging something up. Yo! A tower of magic, perhaps. Owned by one of the masters of Manakaran's Arcaneum. Who are those people? Scavengers? Hard to say. I see no tent or flag signifying their allegiance. Well, there is one way to find out. Perhaps we should sneak a little closer. Or simply walk in and see how friendly they are. Oh, choices. All right. Uh, I'm very curious, just because I, I do love leveling up. Can I check to see... Okay. Uh, you've reached a mysterious tower. Workers are stapling the tunnel beneath it. Find out who they are, what they're doing, and if it links to Sorak activity. I just want to know how close I am to leveling up. I guess it won't tell me. Uh, 
You also... Ah, uh, you also need a need a spell focus. Dang, I need to. Whenever we get back to town, I need to buy another spell focus. All my characters can do spells, though you have a holy symbol, don't you? Yeah, you have a holy symbol, so you're fine. And I just gave you a wand, so you're fine. You have the component pouch, so you're fine. We just have to pass that one around whenever I want to do something. Uh, but yeah, I can't see where I can check what my XP looks like, so... I know I'm gaining XP, I just don't know how, mu how much I have until next level. Okay, but I think we're going to... We're all gonna get cautious. And kind of sneak our way down there. Turn camera. We just have a bunch of unknown humans. I don't know how I'm supposed to completely get by without being seen. It's like break. It's like freaking daylight over here. And I don't want to hurt them because that's not necessarily what we need to do. container over here. Uh, a tragic love letter. Sure, we'll, we'll take all of that.
Oh, wow. You only have one ration pouch left? I gave you like five rations. Where did they all go? And you have five. I can't remember if he said that every character needs to have rations. I can't remember if he said that every character needs to have rations or not. Because I don't get how they lost all of their rations. And then she freaking has five. Like, it, like I don't get it. Is she just not eating? Yeah, if I go over here, no one should be able to see me. Unless we have invisibility, we're not going to get past that. I think I need to send one of them. Who has the most charisma? Definitely not you. 15, 14, 16. Alright, we're sending Sable. Really? All right, no talking then. Okay. Well, looks like there won't be any firing. No free hand.
yeah, okay, she's... Well, to be fair, they don't know anything else. Uh, I don't know if I'm able to get to those spots. What do I have? Sacred Flame, Spirit of Dying... I could do Bane on all three of them. Guiding Bolt, Inflict Wounds, Bless, Cure Wounds, Blindness... Okay, yeah. Let's move over here. Target's out of range. They all failed. Okay. What do I want you to do? here I can't see any of the targets from destruction how about I ready a cantrip I didn't pick what cantrip I wanted to ready. Oh, whoa. Okay, you are surrounded. I don't like that. Um... This person is a cult fanatic. Yeah, what's how about we do this? We can do it like here. much that helped but D did you try to shove me I, I I don't know what you I don't know what you were trying to do there I 
let's go ahead and make sure we kill one of them. Yo, that was really wasted on her, but okay. Ow. What is that? Oh, okay. Am I not concentrating? Oh, I failed my concentration when I got hit. Okay. All right. You don't need any heals. Let's just... Dang. You can't do anything in this direction. Alright, let's get you over there. Did you not say Says you. I think that magic person is going to be a big problem. So let's go ahead. Get back over there. Shake it off. You're telling me. We're gonna try something. Switch the crossbow. Oh, they're too close to me. God, okay. Uh... Bonus action. Disengage. Now I can try hitting them. Shit, it 
Bitch, you're blinded. What the fuck? Get arrowed. Wait till the next one. I'm gonna move over here. Defeat me. Hmm, your shield of fate is. Oh, lost consecration on shield of fate. Okay. Good job, Logan. Oh, I didn't move. Oh, hold person. Stay with us. Critical hit, my ass. Okay. And go over here and attack that person. Go over here. Devo Malmus Hunter's Mark. Don't even care, trying it anyway. Oh. Boom. I'm gonna go ahead and put myself over here. Ugh. Run while you can. I'll save you. I just want to use this. Only the last blow hurt. I missed with the basil. Okay. And I can't leave without potentially getting hit, so I guess we'll just stick here. You got shield of faith again. You can take it. Oh, he cannot take it. Oh, 
unnecessary 20, but okay. Dang, I can't get close enough to hit her with another attack. I could con cunny action dash to probably get to her. Not about be it, but yeah, why not do it? You can go over there. Usually it would say... Switch it. Oh, wait, no, I'm it's already on her, duh. Has your skill. Bravo. There we go. I I forgot that it was already on her. So, what do you think? They look like people to me. What's that symbol there? The tattoo. Looks like an A. They all have it. Guess they're all part of the same club. Well, there's no reason to assume it signifies something sinister. Do you think it has anything to do with the Sorax? Ooh. We better be careful. And don't forget, we need the head of a Sorak. Uh sure, I'll take the arrow. I don't need the dagger, I'll take the copper, I don't need the holy symbol, I'll take the arrow, I don't need another scroll kit, I'll take the ingredients I guess, cause that, where's the, what's in this container? A javelin, a war hammer, scimitar, and gold copper. I'll pick this up. I don't know if, um, I don't know if she can use a war hammer. And I'll give that to Logan. 
Oh, so I could probably give all of these to Logan. He doesn't need them. I have a battle axe. So they're they're basically the same thing. It's just do I want to do slashing or do I want to do bludgeoning? Because otherwise they are basically the same weapons. Um Sure. You can have a Warhammer. I like how he's holding the most stuff, but also is not carrying a lot. <laughs> so I do need to change- so she can't use any magic because... The setup I have is a dual wielder of a crossbow. Let me look at your spells. So you have color spray. Boss life. And shield. But you couldn't use any spells when I'm dual wielding. And one of your cantrips is a melee. And that's a melee. That's a range. That's a range. That's a self, and that's a self. So I have to decide if... I need to decide what's more important. Doing the double stabbing, or having a free hand for... Because you're supposed to go into melee. You're built to be a melee person. So it doesn't really make sense. You just have a range because sometimes it's you it's good to have range. But I guess if I want so how much does the crossbow do? You do 1d8. How much does this do? 1d8. So if I take this off... I could, I don't know, put a dagger in this hand. And then if I switch over to this... Now I have a hand free to do other things. I wonder if it matters which hand I put it in. I don't think it I don't think it would. I don't 
don't know. Maybe I could do that? Because the idea is that you could attack with an offhand weapon. So maybe if I put it in the offhand, then I could still maybe do a little stabby after a spell attack. I'm not too sure. I'm not sure how the rules work on that. But then this way, I I free up my sp my um, spaces a little bit. It also means that I don't need crossbows anymore. Which means I can give these crossbows to Gilda. I could do a prayer of healing. Yeah, let's do a prayer of healing because then that would get that can help everyone. That, that's good. I don't know how I'm supposed to reach that. It's like all the way over there. Ah, damn it. that and I'll take that oh I have to I think get back to the group and then I can Give these crossbows to you. You can hold on to those. I don't think that's a rusting campfire. Did I check that one? Okay, I'll take the arrow. Did I check this? I thought I checked this. Oh, okay, yeah, I did. I just left it. And I think I checked that already. 
can't get to that. And then there's something over here that I could not get to. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't think I can get to it. Okay. I think we're ready. Let's go see your it's over here. Out of curiosity. You have dark vision. You have dark vision. You have dark vision. You don't have dark vision. Everyone has dark vision except for Sable. Probably be cautious. I'm so popular. I just got home from a vacation and now another friend wants to hang out with me. Which is totally fine. I just have to think about if that's uh, what I want. Because we, we did talk about it. Yo! Finally! Okay. Torches? Uh, yes. I'll take that. And I'll take those rations. Uh, I'll take that. And I'll take that. Fantastic. Oh, you're whole you're carrying too much. Get get back up here. Cause yeah, my speed my speed just got reduced. So what are you holding down that's too heavy? Well for one, you don't need this rations, so let's give the rations over to him. Uh Torches is... Uh, you're the only one who really needs torches though, so I don't want to get rid of your torches. Um, you know what? Get the poison to him. You don't have anything to poison. Actually, hold on. Oh, I can apply it to one of those. Uh, split. You can have those back. Okay, uh, yeah. I might not just be able to hold more than 10. They might just only stack to 10. Yeah, stack size is 10. So that's why. Uh... 
Okay, uh, before we go on, I'm gonna use the bathroom. You're getting better at doing clips. I should fear for my life. You're getting better at it. <laughs> I must watch what I say. The clip button is always ready. They lock me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room of oh, rats. Uh, and the rats it's made me crazy. Delicious. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. Room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. And the rats made me crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. Sing that now. What? Oh, I'm just reading thing mode. Now you have to sing it. <laughs> crazy? I was crazy once. Once they locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room. The rats and the rats made me crazy. Crazy. I was crazy once, they locked me in a room A rubber room, a rubber room of rats And the rats made me crazy Crazy, I was Was a lot better than this God, that That's gonna bug me Oh, oh, I, okay I did this to myself, didn't I? Cheer 10 baby chick 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 on one creature that you see within range the target must succeed on a concentration saving throw or take 1d6 poison damage and move 5 feet in a random direction if it can move and if its speed is at least 5 feet roll a d4 to figure out the direction uh, this movement does not provoke opportunity attacks, and if the direction rolled is blocked, the target doesn't move. So, uh, basically, one, this is the cantrip you have that make, that allows you to summon a bunch of fleas at people. Take note. Apparently, one of the components to cast a spell is a living flea. You take one flea, and then you make it a hundred fleas, and you throw them at someone, and they panic. <laughs> So, so there's that spell. Magic stone, which I kind of explained before, is that you, um, I swear, like, it's like every time I come back, I come back to <laughs> murder? <laughs> oh, well, it kind of depends on what type of murder are we talking about. Are we talking about the murder that actually kills you or the murder that gives you trauma? One. Why? Tell me why. Ain't nothing but, but a heart ache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Now, number five. <laughs> 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 I, I want, want it that way. Harris again. You seem to be hungry for punishment. Uh, I'll help you out. Come on. I, I like the idea that he was just sitting here. He hasn't been able to progress in his plan the entire time. I, I forgot. You fool. I have overheat now. Overheat immediately dies. <laughs> I was born. Okay, we're back.
I also took that time to uh, put up my watch so that will charge. Okay, uh, I think this is probably not a threat, so I don't mind. So let's just go ahead and walk all the way over there. Please don't kill me. What are you doing here? I'm just a worker. Are you tattooed with a nail? I, I, you don't understand. Are you one of them? One of what? I'm just trying to survive. I had no choice. What does the tattoo signify? It's... I can't... He's dead. How is that possible? How is any of this possible? He was doomed from the start. Wow, he just died. How do I get up there then? I feel like I just wasted that because I. Alright, cool. Alright, uh. Okay. Alright, everyone, let's just get over here. Hello, Happy! Welcome! We need to get uh, the skulk's head so we can prove that they exist.
unexpected. This place is topsy-turvy. Remind me not to take a dump in that hole. Do you realize I'm not jealous? Yeah, it's in my contract. Did Karen not tell you? Might be good to remember what these blue currents can do. Guess we have to go down here. The library. Oh. Apparently I can't pick that up. Okay. Look at this place. I've never seen so many books. It would take a lifetime to read them all, even for an elf. It must be worth a fortune. If only we could get everything back to Kerr Kiflin. I see the point of the scavengers now. Why not keep this to ourselves? Is this one of those rocks that... I'm trying to figure out no path to destination.
Okay, so it's up there now, but what am I supposed to do with that? Sometimes the camera's a little finicky. Beautiful craftsmanship. She looks like an empress. Oh, haha, -ha. history. She doesn't bear the proper regalia, not for a Manakawan. More likely, she was a wizard, a master of the Archimaean. Could this have been her home? Possibly. Her bones are probably buried somewhere under all these bloody books. You're an idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> I think I really need to be cautious here. I forgot to drink water! Ha! I'm on it. In the badlands. Got it. I know. Expect the unexpected. Ooh, I want the chest. There's a trap. Oh. Well, I'm not going over there yet. Oh, hey, there's not there's not one here. You see that? Is that a Sora? Don't be ridiculous. This is pre-cataclysm. Before anyone knew what a Sorak even was. Doesn't have the big spines. It's a dragon. It's no bigger than a man. It's standing just like a human. Ever seen a dragon at all? How would you know? Stop losing time, it's just a statue. Find the third clue.
how do I get up here? solve that <laughs> Logan why did you s <laughs> why? no wait no sorry that was Kurgan still why did Kurgan do it Still don't know how to get up there. You know what? Maybe if I had spire climb. Oh, there's also something over behind this. Dang. Golden locket. More studded leather. Oh, magical. So is this like Okay, we're totally taking that. Now I can get over to here. Hope it 
that's not locked. Crafting manual for Skull of Fog Cloud. Crafting manual for a battle axe of acuteness. Crafting manual for a short sword of acuteness. And a primary short sword. Still don't know how to get over to that one. Okay. No. There we go. All right. Read. Read. I'll get Bala axed you. You can hold on to that. You're still holding on to a lot, so what else what else do I have? Give that to Logan. Give that to Logan. Still holding too much. Oh, uh, put this on. I guess I could put the leather off from the ground if I need to. Oh yeah, tragic love letter. Um, <clears throat> Thomas, top Th Th Thomas, top Th Thomas. <laughs> I do hope these words find you in good health, and I am sorry for not writing sooner. Requisitioning the necessary supplies and ensuring delivery is risky and dangerous. But it is well worth it, as your letters have become a shining beacon of hope in the darkest nights that haunt this prison. Your words of concern are not misplaced, as the wounds of old is spreading my current end through my feverish body. Days of labor are more treacherous than the last. Every disciplined action leaving wounds that will never heal, and hunger has thinned my, my veil between reality and dreams. I fear this little may be my last. Long ago, you asked me what crimes led me here, and I professed my innocence. I could not risk that my beloved thought any less of me. Your worship of my virtue, determination, and spirit allowed you to draw strength in the dark times. I could not allow that to be tainted by my past. But now, in these final days, I understand that I was hardly worth of that affection. I will never fathom how I deserve meeting you in this cru in the crucible of my own making. When I was young, my mother's farm had fallen on hard times. I was sent to the Lady Estate to worship as a maid among deranged aristocrats. These years were filled with mischievous pranks, brute discipline, and cruel indignities. All of my scars and, fa and faults tell those years. The lady never burdened herself with guilt, but put the blame solely on the shoulders of my mother. Repressed longings turned into despair, despair turned into resentment, and resentment into sprite, which incriminated into a hated-filled second of violence my mother did not survive. 
and despite my false lies and shameful past, you still loved me. I did not fully understand why until the end. You did not need to know my past, for your love is unconditional. Please, my love, do not look at the past, but to the future. Do not fall for despair as I once did, but let the childbirth of our love carry you to a new beginning. We can drop that. I guess... No. No. It, it's really this, just holding on to another... Wait. Okay, yeah, this is the leather armor. I guess I, I, I just have to drop the leather armor. I can't hold it. I mean, I guess I could try giving it to Logan to hold for now. Sure, you can wear it, I guess. There's no real need to, but might as well. I think it's so funny. He's carrying the most stuff, but he's carrying a lot of light stuff, so there's nothing there. Uh, I need this thing. And an oil of acuteness. Okay. Okay, but very interesting. I think those can be called magical weapons. No path to destination. Okay, someone needs to go down and move this rock.
I'll start. And Logan's going first. Okay. I cannot see that target. Okay, Gilda. Yeah, I don't have a, um, attack bonus. I don't have a bonus attack option. <sighs> Why do you have to be blind? saved. Not too bad. Oh, that's gonna hit. Necrotic. Let's 
because I'm in melee with this person? I think it is. Go into this corner. Okay. Um. Let's use bless. Is this a range attack? Oh yeah, that, that is a range attack. I thought chilling touch would, would be a melee attack. Range the guy, get or get out of there. Zero damage. This is not good. It's just I will hit Sable. Did Glinda lose? Yep, Glinda lost. Fuck. God damn it. I 
fucking magic missile. I think I ma magic missile three on you. I think I could do enough damage. I try to see if it's... Yeah, that'll be fine. Deal with it! Okay, good. Okay. can try doing bless again cuz i have to we're making a lot of saves Yeah, let's do it. But this time I'm gonna give it to my s to these three. And then you need to get the fuck out of here. God damn it! I should have done that after I moved. Fucker. That's apparently range. That's also range. They realize my spells were um range spells. Dang, they're they're not going after them. All right, let's. Thought you could fight. Dang. Getting the measure of this. Oh shh. Variety, evil, fury. What? I feel better. Okay, there we go. Okay, you need to disengage.
cunning action. Disengage. Get the fuck out of there. Switch to this. Which one does more damage? Okay. They do the same amount of damage, just different damage types. Coming your way. Good job. No. Oh, that's not good. Well, you're not doing anything. You need to get over there and do cure wounds. Which is just not possible. But you can get over here. Pull out your battle axe. And smack a bitch. Surrender or die. Got it. Ooh. Uh not a tragic arrow. Arrow, arrow, that. Tragic love letter. Okay, I think I need to take a little bit of a short rest. Select spend slots to get back. Interesting. So I can get all my first levels, or I can get back a second level. I think I'll take back a second level. I didn't roll! Oh, I'm fuck! I didn't roll for HP. Thank you. 
there. Another statue? These guys really love themselves. Now, this is an emperor. A famous one, too. Lerithir Imradir. He was Emperor at the time of the Cataclysm. Good job managing the trouble, mister. They have dark vision. I know they are resistant to freaking damages. These books floating around and I can't grab them. Oh. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. So this is a short bow. So it's not all that. It's probably better than a regular short bow, maybe? Yeah. Because it has an attack and damage bonus of plus one. So I, so I still think it's worth keeping around. that over what kind of ruins are those enchanted ruins from the ancient imperial period it is said they had eight schools of magic each is represented here, all as equals. This place is astounding. We're not here for runes, we're here for Sorax. Magic rune puzzle. Find, a hi find the hidden runes that are barely shining on the ground and step on them to activate them.
Try? <laughs> Too easy. Designed to be opened remotely. I stepped on some magical brew. I guess there's a reason for that. Okay. one another one yes Huzzah! We have solved the puzzle. Was that insane puzzle the work of some long dead Manakalan wizard? Probably. Even from the tomb, that magical arsehole is messing with us. I think I've explored this whole room. So I think it's I think it's uh we're good to go to move on.
<gasps> Campfire. Yes, I could I could use a long rest. Okay, let me think of what I think I need. Shield of Faith. I think I'm fine getting rid of... Yeah, I think I'm fine getting rid of Inflict Wounds for Shield of Faith. is eight hours? I didn't realize how long Mage Armor lasts. It lasts is eight hours. I can do that like at the start of the day and just be fine. It's not concentration or anything. I didn't realize how good that is. I could totally... I should use that a lot more often. <laughs> I guess I can make that one a range. <coughs> yeah, let's try let's try that. Hmm. 
let there be light. Mana lights. In the Madaka rune, to make them across these magical lives, they use magical power to cast a brighter and more reliable light source than torches. Any magical damage will affect them, even a cantrip. Stay hidden. They're here. Sorax! What else could they be? Are you ready to do this? Get in position. Hit him hard. Take him by surprise. Ready. Okay. Oh, battle starts. Alright, we're gonna cast a spell. On that one. Dang. Oh, actually that did hit. Nice. There's a dagger. No, it's the slot is disabled, but it's showing that I'm that I'm holding.
Dang. Drink water. Ha! Oh no, it's it is. It oh I succeeded. You can't take reactions. I can run. See you later, punk. Jeez. Okay. Uh, which one of these did I mark? I think it was this one. I have disadvantage because for range near close objects. Guess we're going here. Ah, uh, I no longer have Hunter's Mark on. Oh, that fucker can fly now?
supposed to get my person. That's not gonna work. Uh, where's that flying dude? There was a flying dude. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Can I see his ass? a scorching ray throw three scorching rays at him probably would hurt one two three four Devo Malmus. Well run. Ah, you shoved me to the ground. Attack. Bend the knee or perish.
but my target died. Hunter's Mark, you. What is happening? Oh, okay, there we go. The game kind of just lagged for a moment. Okay. Hold on, let me just like look at what all this was. Okay, so he died. But then he healed? So is he not dead? No, he's dead. Someone else healed. I think it was you. dead. I can do... I think I'll end turn. Okay. I need a new target. You'll die like the rest. Oh shit. Our healers down. And I'm on two HP as well. So me also going down the fight is not a good idea.
this is the last one. That's unfortunate. a tough one. Okay, uh... Oh, uh, game is good! Game is challenging. I was a little worried, I thought I was gonna die at the end of that. Uh, one of my player- one of my characters went down, and I was just like, oh god! Is there uh, only one I can do that for? Okay. We did. 
that. Let's go loot. How are you, Tabletop? What's up? Also, congratulations on uh, being a step closer to affiliate. Scroll of Roof? I, I would take that scroll. Can't stay long sitting outside of work right now. No problems. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I don't need a dagger. Scroll of Sea Invisibility, Scroll of Shield of Faith. Just a simple dagger. Money, 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 money. Rations. And a candle. Don't need that. Ooh. Hide. Okay, so... Okay. Uh, thank you, I'm doing good, how about you? Yay, ads, lol. Uh, gotta love those ads. Ha 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 ha. Uh, actually I don't think that... Apparently this is an ingredient, so I guess I'll keep it with me, but... Arrows can go to this, can go to him. This can go to Logan. That's... Uh, I don't think Logan can learn Shield of Faith. Could still give it to Logan. I'll also give that to Logan. And that can go to Logan. Oh, uh, this I can read just so I can learn it. Still carrying too much. What is this? That's Hill Giant Strength Potion. Yeah, that doesn't, that's not going to do anything. I feel like the Primo Hide Armor might be, um... Oh, okay. Uh, back. Have you seen the ads for the new Godzilla and King Kong movie? It looks wild. Uh, I have not seen... I have not. Um... I don't know. I don't really keep track of Godzilla. I know that apparently Godzilla, a Godzilla movie uh, won the Oscars for Best Visual Effects. But it wasn't that Godzilla for me.
She's just she's just gonna be slower now. Uh Yeah, I can't scribe and I can't cast it. So give that back to you, because I can't use it on this character. And this one... Oh, I can copy. Oh, okay. Scroll to see invisibility. I can... I can scribe. Uh, so how's Nanya today? Nanya is doing okay. I came back from my vacation. I spent the I spent the first probably half an hour talking about that on stream. Uh, still frustrated about the whole job situation. Won't repeat myself. Um, and I'm just kind of chilling, playing some. I've been <laughs> I've been wanting to play this game again like all weekend. So I I am glad to get back to this. Um. So I am glad for that. I'm just trying to organize my inventory right now because Glilda's carrying too much shit. Uh, how much are you carrying? Yeah, everyone's carrying a lot of shit. I think it's the battle axe. I think the battle axe is probably what's... Uh, no, it only weighs four. What is so heavy? Oh, it's uh, it's the armor. This is 12. Hide armor's AC will be just It's not better than the scale mail. And it, it's not better than the other armors. But it's also an ingredient. I feel like I could I feel like it has the potential of being better. I just don't know what it is yet. Gotta go to uh good luck with the game in the stream. Thanks, tabletop. See you around. I guess she's just gonna have to be slow. Or Okay, there we go. Logan just has to carry it. <laughs> okay. What do you mean, no path to destination? I'm just asking... Oh! Oh, that's the door I came in! Oh, okay, it's just- it's closed now. I leave no I leave no stir turn stone on turn Yeah. 
was able to be stealthy, but because... But I just got caught too quickly. Because, like, they were told... It was just... Because the game said, we gotta be careful and be sneaky. And then... Um... And then the battle started. And I was just like, oh. Alright, let's go ahead and figure out what this is. I think we've hit the end of this dungeon. Would you look at this? <coughs> A crown of some kind? They seem to keep their distance from it. Maybe it's cursed. Look what I found. Let me take a look. Looks like ancient Amarium. If you find it, send for... This appears to be a name. That has to be a Sorak name. They were protecting it. It must be of great value to them. Take the crowd, take the crowd, take the crowd, take the crowd! <laughs> They've all agreed. Take the crown. Uh Sable, you say Take it. it then. Fair enough. Yes, I understand. Who are you talking to? Wait, what are you doing? Are you crazy? Why did you put it on? We have no idea what it does. Whether it's evil or anything. What? I oh I it it I just kind of had to. We're supposed to share the loot, by the way. Perhaps we should rest before we head back. I say we go before the owner of that unpronounceable name shows his ugly face. The mission is done, after all. Is it? Did someone cut off a Sorax head? Oh, all right then. I'll do it. The sooner we go, the sooner we can get back to Care Kiffin. After you, friends. Oh. Bring back the crown. You have completed a quest as, as well as rares, and you have to prove what's more. You have you have taken possession of something that they want them to protect. Take the crown to the council for examination. I think uh, I think I actually I think I accidentally got sabled uh, cursed. Oh wow, how did I miss this? A handy haversack container. Carrying capacity multiplier. Oh! A primal quarter staff. Okay, 
get all that. Give that to you. Give that to you. Oh god, the Zora, okay. Weighs six pounds. Poison Ivy, give that to you. It must be somewhere within the old tower. If you find it, send it to Tasha to protect it with your lives. Okay. Now that you have a lot more... You can carry that. And... Yeah, this doesn't do... This isn't any different. It just... But I need that... I need enough money! Oh! Oh, shit! I just realized how much, how much money we have! Oh, I know exactly what I'm buying when we get back to town. <laughs> You can also take that. Okay. But how the heck did I miss all that? I wish I could get to this, but I can't figure it out. I think I need some type of other spell to get over there. And I'm not too sure why I missed this one. But I think it's also that I just couldn't figure out how to reach it. Okay, before... Yeah, I have no idea how to get down there. Okay.
miss this? Oh, I think I already failed to pick that locked chest. I think that's what happened. Yeah, for some reason I can't actually use use that, so how do I leave? We're getting the heck out of there. Let's start traveling. Uh, a troubling night. Our heroes take a well-deserved rest, but the mood is somber. pale is something wrong i don't feel too good shit i knew that hunk of junk was cursed you don't know that just get rid of it no we need it need it for what for its power i can feel it deep inside are you okay i just need to rest for a bit yeah, I'm not feeling too good either. I'm exhausted as well. Maybe the curse has affected us all. Stop it. Don't be ridiculous. Fine. Let's rest for a while. Set up camp. Hmm. Oh, God. Uh, hostile creatures are nearby, but Karen manages to spot them. What do you want to do? Uh, gotta hide.
Oh, failed to complete a long rest. I think I probably ran out of food. Alright, now I have to report to Castle, but first... Let's do some maintenance things. Oh, cutscene. We did it. We brought back through. How do you feel? Better. Maybe that sickness was nothing. What about the clown? You know the council will probably take it. No, we can't bullshit them. It's got to be a Sorak thing. It's our loot. Ours. We have to declare anything of historical value. And they have the right to buy it. And if it's priceless... Come on, they can do whatever they want. Sure. I guess we'll see. We might want to remind them that they were wrong about the Soraks. Now can we go shopping? I would like to go shopping, please. Alright, thank you. I want to keep that. I want to keep that. Uh, I guess I don't need this, um... I'll take that off. I'll sell this. I guess I'll sell this because that takes up some. Worker's letter. I don't think that's gonna be worth anything, but I can read it. Are you holding anything I can sell? No, you're just basically holding ingredients. Is that someone wearing an amulet that I can sell? Nope, that's your holy symbol. Yeah, you're holding a golden locket. I think, uh, I'll keep that. Okay. I want to go here real quick because I need to buy something that is expensive. But it's going to be so worth it. As I figure out which one it is. Aha! I want this.
I'll take that as well. Oh yeah, I need a I need a focus. Okay, so... Grab a healing remedy, you need those. Give that to you. Give that to you. You can have that. This needs to go to you. That can go to there. That can go there. That can go there. There we go. Uh, you... That can go there. The others have given up, but I cannot escape, maybe. I hope I can reach home before them. They would kill everyone, I know they would. They would kill my children with a hesitation. They are pure evil. Healing remedy, how much does it heal though? Over a healing potion. Ow. This requires a lot less. But I think healing potion. I go to inventory because I think you have a healing remedy. It does 1d8. And this does two, two d four plus two, which at maximum would be ten. So it is better. Uh. I can make a scroll of mage armor, though I don't really need it. And I can make a scroll of magic missile, but I also don't really need that one either. I 
I still need the oil of cuteness, though I'm not sure where I get it. Does, uh, does this place sell it? No, it does not. Okay, cool. So I don't know where I get those oils, but I think I can go ahead Okay, so I can do things while crafting is happening. Let's talk to you, see, is there anything? Clear skies, my friend. Okay. Well, thank you. I guess that's it for us. Stay in the light, my friends. Let me see if there's anything I can really just dump in here. I think for now, until I have the things I need, I don't need to carry these with me. Especially since they weigh a lot. So we'll put those in there. I think I'll put my extra arrows in here since I already have 20, <laughs> since I already have 40 on me. Uh, how about here? I think do the same thing at that there. And this. You! Uh, yeah, we'll add that in here. Um, don't really, we don't really need too much things. Uh, I'm trying to think what I want. What is the best thing for this? Oh, that's where the XP goes. It's a circle around the character. I see. Okay. Um...
think I'll do that. Probably put this over here. Okay. Man, you're still holding a lot. I think it's also just because you're... Oh, you're also, I think equipment also still counts as well, so there's only so much I could do. I think I'll take the crossbow out. I think uh, I think I don't need the crossbow anymore. Let's see, it's 11.27. I think this might be a good place to go ahead and do a little pausey pause. Do a little uh, waiting until next time. Ugh. But uh, we're, we're totally possessed. No, okay, so I need to save my game. Alright, save that. Quit. So there are two other campaigns that I can play through as well. Sorry, that was... I, I just wanted to look at it. We're, we're obviously not going to start any other campaigns. Okay. Alright. I think that's uh, I think that's where I'm gonna call it for today. Oh god, I did not check to see if there was any static. I I totally forgot. I really hope there was no static. I really hope there was no static. I would be very disappointed and very upset if there was static at the end of that. Oh boy. Okay. Ow, my neck. My neck's still injured. Anyway. My brain's dying on me, so we're just gonna go ahead and leave. Thank you everyone for uh, showing up and chilling and hanging and whatnots, and I'll see you later.